please stand if you wish and join the soloist Catherine Lawyer for our national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rampart we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting and air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh see does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you, Catherine. Retire the colors. I want to thank Mart Martin J. Ryan, VFW Post 2666, the color guard. Thank you, gentlemen. You may be seated. Oh. <laughs> so this is our second, uh, we had a wonderful Memorial Day celebration where we introduced this beautiful park to the community of North Plains. And we are very, very grateful for all of you to be able to join us today as we honor our veterans. First, I'd like to recognize a few of the organizations and the people who made today possible. The sponsors, North Plains Chamber of Commerce, and more importantly, Cindy Hurst. She served in the US Army Reserve, um, but she was very instrumental in putting today's event on. Thank you, Cindy. the City of North Plains and the City of North Plains Public Works crew, in addition to their ongoing commitment for caring and maintaining for our beautiful park, they recently received the 2021 Pacific Northwest American Public Works Association Project for the Year Award. This award is given to promote excellence in the management of administration of public works projects, recognizing the alliance between the managing agency, the contractor, and the consultant, and their cooperative achievements. Congratulations. <laughs> the Knights of Pythias, Glencoe Lodge 22, for setting up the tents and the chairs. Without you, we could not have gotten this done. Thank you. I <clears throat> I want to thank Mitch Ward for the audio this afternoon. Thanks, Mitch. Wendy Berger Wood for the photography. We have some distinguished guests attending today. And the first one is Oregon House Representative Janine Solman. Washington County Commissioner Jerry Willey. 
and his wife, Judy, Willie. We have two Cub Scout packs with us today. The first one is Cub Scout Pack 335 from the Shoals Heights Elementary. Can you wave your hands? And we also have the Cub Scouts Pack 598 from the Holy Trinity and Barnes Elementary from Beaverton. You are our future leaders, and we're very grateful that you're here with us today. Thank you. On November 11th in 1919, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson issued a message to his countrymen on the first Armistice Day. Here's a quote from his address. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride and heroism of those who died in the country's service, and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it was, has has been freed and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of nations. I personally did not serve in the armed forces, but my brothers, my uncles, my, and my grandfather served in the army and in the Marines. My grandfather was in the infantry division in the third army in Germany in 1944. His division entered combat in the Arden Forest, and he ended up being separated from his men for some time. A German, a German family found him days later, nursed him, and eventually turned him to the United States lines. He returned to the United States in May of 1945. Our family shared stories over the years about that time, and his wounds were very deep, and he struggled for many years. But one thing was certain, he was a proud man and he served his country and his family very well. Military men and women who serve and protect the United States come from all walks of life. They are parents, children, grandparents, moms and dads, neighbors, and co-workers. And they are an important part of our community. There are 19 million living veterans served during at least one war since April 2021. 11% of veterans are women. 5.9 million veterans served in the Vietnam War. And there are 16 million, and, and of the 16 million Americans who served during World War II, about 240,000 are still alive today. This past year, we lost a few of our very own North Plains soldiers. In memory, I want to recognize and honor them. Bob Ganos. He served as a second lieutenant in the Army, was very active in the post-6 American Legion, where he served as post commander, and he was an integral part of the formation of the North Plains Garlic Festival. Charlie Rogers, he served in the U.S. Marine Corps and he worked for the city for 18 years. And Char Carl Schmedeke, some of you might remember him from our Memorial Day celebration. He passed away this year. He was a PFC in the 84th Entry Infantry Division. May God rest their souls. At this time, I would like to introduce a very special guest that we have today. She served in the United States Navy and is a North Plain resident. Her name is Valerie Webb. Valerie is a hardworking and dedicated person, mom, and wife. She has a bachelor's degree in healthcare administration and enjoys writing, working out, and spending time with her family. She holds one of the most important jobs on the planet, in my opinion. She is the household CEO, event planner, chef, accountant, and director of child development, raising four boys. Yes, four boys, ages eight, six, four, and two. 
She's a much better woman than I am. <laughs> I'm thrilled and honored to introduce Valerie Webb. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. It is such an honor to not only be in the presence of such amazing men and women here this morning, and also children, but to be given the opportunity to speak in front of such esteemed members of our community, it's hard to put into words, but I will try my best. Following in the footsteps of my grandfather and a few of my uncles, I entered into our United States Navy in 2005 as a storekeeper. I was the first and only female in our family to serve our country. I served only eight years, but I made memories for a lifetime, which many of you can attest to. I was stationed in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, on board the destroyer DDG-93 USS Chung Hoon for four years. I did a total of three and a half deployments and was deployed to places like the Horn of Africa and the Northern Arabian Gulf. Being stationed at such a historical location like Pearl Harbor was humbling. Whenever I would do the colors, which is the raising of the flag in the morning and the lowering of the flag in the evening, I would be choked up with pride every single time. And one of my greatest honors was being one of the lucky sailors to escort Pearl Harbor survivor Houston James on board our ship. My shipmates and I listened intently as he recounted the events of that fateful day on December 7, 1941. That was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, much like today. Once my enlistment on board the ship was up, I re-enlisted for four more years and went on to be stationed at HSL-49, a helicopter squadron based in North Island in California. Unbeknownst to me, this is where I would meet my future husband, Charles, who's right back there, also a veteran. After a couple of years, an opportunity presented itself that would allow me to volunteer to do a tour in Afghanistan, and I jumped at that chance. I was sent to Kandahar, Afghanistan and worked at the NATO Roll 3 Multinational Medical Unit Hospital. It was there that I saw the casualties of war firsthand, where the blood of heroes spilled on my shoes, where their names were whispered in my prayers every night. And for some, it was the place where they took their last breath. A piece of my heart and soul will always belong there with the men and women who we've lost and those who continue to serve. Which brings me to today, to be here with all of you. To put into words the enormous pride I have for our country and the people who have served it, they would be mere words and pale in comparison to the honor that is felt in my heart. You've done our country an amazing service. You've done your family an amazing service. And you've done your community as a whole a great service. It is also important to honor the families of veterans as well. It is not for the faint of heart. My mom can attest to that. It is not easy for a mother to watch her son leave her loving arms to go to fight for our country. It is not easy for a child to watch their mother put on that uniform knowing that they will not see her for six months or maybe even more. They have to mentally prepare for the possibility that we may not come home. And yet, they patiently waited to hear from us. Their dedication and love knew no bounds. It traveled the thousands of miles to wherever we were stationed, and the prayers that they said for us, insurmountable. So thank you to the families as well. Thank you for your support, for your love, and thank you for your patience. 
And lastly, I want to make a promise to all of the veterans here today. The sacrifices that you made, the things that you have done for our country, they will never be forgotten. You will never be forgotten. Thank you. Valerie, you've done our country a great service, and you represent the best of us. And for that, I am internal, internally grateful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Mm -hmm. Before you leave today, please take a few minutes to look at the uh, commemorative bricks around the flagpole. These represent your family and your friends who have served our country. We had hoped to have the bricks installed for those who had purchased bricks since Memorial Day, but unfortunately the wet weather in the, pa the past several weeks has postponed that. We're anticipating December 1st to get them installed. The North Plains Parks Foundation is still selling bricks engraved with the name of your family member or a friend. You can go to the City of North Plains website and go to the North Plains Veterans Memorial Park page to find the details. Business owners who want the names of their companies engraved in the bricks on the east side of the entrance right over here should also contact the North Plains Parks Foundation. You can even have your logo engraved on the bricks. And all the donations will help for the yearly, yearly maintenance of the park. At this time, I'd like to call the VFW forward for the rifle salute and taps. Well, as we close today, I would just again want to thank you for joining us. Today, we honor all who, who were called for service to our country. For those of us who have never served, we will never fully understand the sacrifices you have made, both in times of peace and war. We will never fully understand what you were required to do or how you were able to do it. We will never fully understand the depths of your scars, but we can offer this. We see you. We are proud of you. We are grateful and we are blessed. You made the sacrifices to serve our country and serve it well. Thank you again. Thank you for coming and thank you to all the vets. Thank you.